Okay, I'm going to try to take a video here. These are two magnetrons. And it, the magnetrons induce a voltage that normally goes to a gasoline engine to ignite the spark plug. But instead, I got it running through a bridge rectifier, which is this right here. I got two of them, one, one for each magnetron. And the bridge rectifier turns it into direct current to charge this capacitor. I have the leads to my multimeter right here. So what I want to show is I'm going to disconnect this one and just run this one. And so you can see how fast the voltage comes up. And then I'm going to connect this one back up so we can see how fast the voltage comes up. See if it's any faster. Okay, so I'm going to disconnect this one. Totally. I'm going to disconnect that wire. And I'll disconnect this wire here. So that one's totally disconnected. So there's my volt. Oh, okay, so I'm just going to plug it in real quick. Here's my foot pedal. So give it a little spin. And the clicking you hear is every revolution. One, two, one, two. Let me slow it down a little bit. Make sure how fast it's coming up. About every two to three revolutions. About every two to three revolutions. Now, the higher the capacitor charges, the slower it charges. So, the first test is just with one. So, the second test, it's actually got to fight a fuller capacitor if to see any gain at all. So, I'm going to hook this one back up. And I will hook... This one on the other side back up. Okay, now they're both going. Okay, now I'll fire it back up. So now it's about every revolution is coming up 10. Actually faster than that. 23. Okay. So we'll count every 100 revolutions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So about 7 to 8 revolutions, it comes up 100 milliamps. So that's more than double just with adding the second magnetron. Yeah, I just wanted to document this.